So a few weeks back on Amazon Prime Day, I saw this nail salon kit for kids and it looked very appealing and also had great reviews. So I bought it and I'm gonna try it out for you guys today. So the Go Glam Nail Salon is $35 on Amazon, but on Amazon Prime Day, I think it was around $20. And I got the larger kit, I think it's called the Deluxe, and it comes with bonus patterns and polish. So first things first, you get the machine, so you will have to put it together to use, or if your kid's gonna use it, you'll have to put it together for them. And it comes with quite a few of these stampers and a variety of really cool patterns and colors. In the box was also a little baggie full of nail polish and you get four nail polish colors and a top coat. And in a larger bag is the base of the machine, some literature and instructions, and then this is the top part of the machine. So let's put it together. So this is the base of the machine and it does have like a faux gradient going on, which is pretty cute. And although they are wordy, the instructions are pretty simple and straightforward for the assembly of the machine. You do have to pop in some batteries for the battery operated fan, but to actually assemble the parts, you're gonna need a little bit of elbow grease to shove things into places. So definitely not made for a kid to put together. Once you get the top part attached to the base of the machine, it does have a little bit of a pivot, which I think is pretty cool. And then you just pop on the part that the stamper actually inserts into. And the process for putting the stamps in is super easy. You just pop one in and then to eject it, you click that little purple button above it. So everything is pretty simple, mechanically speaking. So I don't think this is going to be hard for a kid to use and better not be hard for an adult to use. So let's see if this works. The instructions said to make sure that the tape on the stampers were pulled tight before using them. And that's really easy to do in the event you do have some sagging going on. It's just like a cassette tape or VHS tape. Just use that little wheel to tighten it up. So let's take a look at all of the designs that come in this kit. You get this cute unicorns, some stars, butterflies, and pugs. Oh, pugs. You also get this cute dotacure and sort of a rainbow color theme, some paw prints and watermelon. So you get quite a few designs and the designs are actually very detailed and they're like a full blown pattern and they're actually very vibrant in color too. So I was pretty impressed and I'm hoping they're going to transfer well. Okay, so now let's take a look at the polishes that come in this kit. You get four little bottles of nail polish and they are all individually wrapped in plastic wrap, so you know that they haven't been tampered with and you do get a top coat that's a little bit bigger. The colors on the outside of the polish aren't exactly true to color, but they are really cute and I do think that is a good variety for creating a bunch of different manicures. And these polishes are water-based and non-toxic, so they're perfect for kids. All right, so let's give it a try. First, I'm gonna start with a base coat because I have no idea if these polishes are going to stain my nails or not. And of course, I'm using my tried and true Max's base coat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop one coat of each color on all of my nails. And oh my gosh, you guys, I was actually very shocked at how opaque this went on. It is kind of that weird, thick, water-based texture consistency but that was pretty opaque and pretty vibrant. And then I was surprised again with this color. It's definitely not high quality or creamy. It's kind of gluey, but the color payoff is not bad. This light pink shade was a little bit disappointing in the package. It looks like it's going to be like a hot coral color and it's not, it's just like a pastel pink, but it is very pretty. These are pretty streaky and they're like a textured streaky because they're so thick in consistency. But the color payoff was honestly surprisingly very good. Okay, so now we're gonna use our fan and the instructions say just to wave your hand underneath the fan for five minutes. Yeah, I definitely didn't do that for five minutes. But if you're a kid, that's a good uh, lesson in patience. So because these are water-based, they don't dry dry down. They dry with more of a tacky finish. And these especially had a tacky finish, but I think that is an important key in making sure that the stamp transfers onto them. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put my finger on the finger rest and press down firmly. And let's see. Uh, it worked, but I wasn't lined up perfectly. 
and I think I might have pressed down and held down for too long. The instructions do say that if you don't move, which I did, you can restamp again in the same place and it should fix any spots and it didn't really. And I think that's just because I didn't have my finger in the right place on the finger rest. So I'm gonna try it again and this time I'm gonna show you a different angle so you can actually see what's going on under there during the stamping process and it's actually pretty interesting. So I'm doing the leopard print design now and I'm stamping down and I did look at my camera and I could see that it didn't transfer perfectly so I did it three more times without moving my finger and you guys look at this it actually worked like I'm so impressed with this design obviously it didn't do it perfectly but it did it pretty good and the color payoff is actually really good Okay, so now we're gonna switch out our cartridge and I'm gonna put in the unicorn one this time, of course, and then I'm gonna press down firmly and quickly and not hold on too long because that has yielded the best results. And you guys, that one turned out so good. I'm actually so impressed <laughs> with how these are transferring. And on my pinky, I'm gonna try that Dada Cure one. So swapping out the cartridge, super easy to do that by the way. And then I'm just going to, okay, he, he wasn't the best, but he's cute, he's cute. And then to do my thumb, I actually just held the machine and stamped on my thumb. And this one was a pretty big flop. I think I held down again too long and that caused the sticker on the stamper to fold on itself. But hey, no one looks at the thumb anyway. And because this relies on that sticky base, the actual stamp transfer wasn't wet at all. So I immediately went in with top coat and I had zero smudging. Like I am very surprised at how well this worked. I don't think I'm gonna be pulling that out when I wanna do a full manicure, but if I were a kid, I would freak out. Like this would blow my mind. So if you guys have kids that are into nail art or even just crafty things, get this for them for Christmas. They are going to love it. And if you're an adult that struggles to do your nails, honestly, I wouldn't judge you. This actually worked really well and uh, some of the designs are pretty cute. So you might wanna look into it. And if you guys can snag this on sale, that's an even bigger win. I'll have this item linked down in the description box. And if there's ever a product you guys wanna see me review, you can always reach me at any of my handles listed below. If you guys enjoyed this video and wanna see others like it, you can click on your screen here. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and I'll see you next time, bye.